Oh, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is your boy, Big West Ray, just coming to y'all with another No Money Spent episode. I believe this is episode 19. Today, we just going to go over the packs, what I've been doing. As you can see, my T total is down. At one point, I was at like 8 point, I want to say 8.3 mil. Now I'm at 6. So... It's been, it's been kind of a, a roller coaster in a way. You know what I mean? Kind of been doing a lot, doing a lot. Investments, really just investments, buying players, selling them, losing a lot of MT. Uh, just a combination of things. But we did have these. Let, I, I'm gonna just get right into it. Bracket busters. My thoughts, opinions on them. Steph Curry is Steph Curry. Kareem is probably the best center in the game. I think he got uh, a 79 three ball, but you can bump that up with all the coaches and stuff by eight, by ten. If not by ten, but eight. I think the coaches give like eight point eight three ball. The Galaxy Opal coaches, but I'm not buying them. I refuse to buy them because there's really no point. Because I could just put a uh, four point three three point shoe on them. That's an eighty three, and then like a floor general. Anybody got like a floor general, even if it's like a plus three floor general, that's an eighty six. So. I'm fine with that. So this Kareem actually got quick first up, and this one just got gold. I don't know if you can. I think last set they actually let you improve those uh, badges to Hall of Fame level, but if you don't have them, you don't have them. So I'm not sure. Excuse me. Um, I'm not sure if you can with this one, but I'm not sure. And of course they got to throw the troll. <laughs> you know, dark matter. So. GG's to anybody that pulled this dark matter. You thought it was Kareem or Steph Curry, and you got Kyrie. Bummer. So this Tim Duncan, I was really excited to see this Tim Duncan, right? And I looked at this Tim Duncan, right? I was like, why is this price so cheap? I saw him for like 40, 30-something K at one point. I'm like, why is he so cheap? He got a very quick release. He's one of the best power forwards in the game. I'm like, how? But then I looked at it, this one actually got Hall of Fame range, and this one can't even get range. I mean, limitless spot up, so. I can see why he's so cheap now, and this one is about 100, 100K now, 100 something K. Uh, Dwayne Wade. Dwayne, yeah, let me go. Dwayne Wade, he got a quick uh, 90, he got a quick release. I wish they gave him very quick, but they probably saving it for a, a later version of Dwayne Wade or other cars that he's going to get. The 98 base, which we all know. They love changing jump shots towards the end like they did last year. So, this Dwayne Wade actually got, I believe, Hall of Fame range. Hall of Fame limitless spot up. This one just got gold. And what I'm, I'm going to tell y'all now, if this Dwayne Wade, let me look at this price right now. I'm seeing the cheapest Dwayne Wade. I think it was 80K yesterday. Might have dropped today. No. So he's hovering around 80 to 85k. So and the other one is Sorry, y'all. But this the way Wade, I bought for like 115k. I wish I waited cuz yesterday he went up to like 160. I wish I sold him because I don't think he's probably going to be a buy now. He's he's definitely going to be a buy now eventually. But I love Dwayne Wade cards in the game. I love his release. Oh, that's my limited. Uh, I'll show y'all in a minute my best team. But I did buy that Dwayne Wade, as you can see. Did I sell him? No, I didn't sell him. He my lineup, ain't he? What? What? Uh. Excuse me? Yeah, I got him. So where is he at? Oh, that's the power within. Almost. Oh, my God. Almost had a heart attack, y'all. Almost had a heart attack. He did a power within set. Okay. Okay. Oh, my God. Almost had a heart attack. That was crazy. But yeah, let's let's continue going over the cards. Again, it is what it is. I made a and these pink diamonds, right? 
I made a video on it yesterday. You can check out the video of why I think these odds are rigged. Because everybody know this Danny Ferry is a Galaxy Opal at least. This Danny Ferry is literally, literally a copy and paste of the Galaxy Opal Vault reward, reward. I can't talk today from last year. And I actually got that card when they had double vault. They, I think they had like a double vault thing after people played hundreds of games. I played at least a hundred some games. Nobody got them. And I played like a few games and I got them for some reason. It's like they upped the odds. It's like 2K can like, like give you, like they can up the RNG reward odds for some reason. But sometimes they just can't. It's just weird. It's, it feels like they do it on purpose. They, they have the power to make it a little bit easier because it's no way RNG got worse this year. It's no way they didn't just do it themselves. They didn't do it on purpose. This is, you y'all gotta understand everything in this game. If it feels worse, like how to make MC, do it, it feel worse, or like like the cards feel like they even harder to get this year. Well, this 2K versus uh, 2K21 is done on purpose. Just like from 2K, I think 2K20 had basically you know the daily spend in 2K20. It felt like it was literally. You could have a good chance. It wasn't rigged. It didn't feel rigged. Like, it felt like it was really random. Like, you, people try to time it. You could actually, like, if you like a second off, you might get that, not get that reward. Because it feels like, it's just basically, a ran, like, gambling almost. It's random. It's literally random. But, the the daily reward spend, the daily spend for every, you know, every Friday, from 2K20 to 2K21, I think DBG made a video. I, tw I somebody got mad at me. I'm not even gonna say his name, some, because he was following me. I was following him. Sorry, my kids in the way. But it was a guy. He's a YouTuber. He he was following me, and then he got mad about me complaining about the daily spend being rigged. You know what I mean? It it, it was rigged. Uh, what else can you say? He said, oh, that's not a big deal. And that person, see, when I say people are too positive, that's the people I'm talking about. Because how was something that, it was no problem with it. They changed it and made it worse. I don't care if you see it as a little thing. The fact that that person and many other people liked him thought like that. And you know what's crazy? Like, right after that incident, I swear, like a week or, or days after that whole incident, we went back and forth. And, you know, I, I wound up blocking him. He probably blocked me. I don't know. DBG made a video about it. And I'm just like, damn, I get unfollowed by saying that crap. But that's why I'm saying it's a lot of, like, YouTubers who can actually have an influence. Bigger YouTubers who actually can have a voice in the community and get change done. And we need to see more of that, but I feel like it's less of that this year. Because we just give 2K a pass. We give 2K passes on too much stuff. And this is the game we pay for $6 a year. I'm not going to turn this into a rant, but you, uh, you can check out the video I posted yesterday. Uh, you can just click my name, go to it. It's right there. It's basically if 2K, you know, 2K Rick Dodds. They really do. Because, like I said, it's Danny Ferry. A little bit people... Versus, yo, hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of Tyler Hansboroughs was getting put up. But, like, it was literally 20 Danny Ferries versus, like, hundreds or thousands of Tylers getting put up. Do y'all not see the, the correlation? Y'all not see the difference? Come on, I can't be the only one here. I cannot be the only one. So, let, let's move on from that. Tyler Hansborough feels like a downgraded version of Danny. And Danny just feels way better. I never used them, but you can just look at the stats and badges. He's like, yeah. He's basically a downgraded Danny to me. Uh, Joakim Noah, good budget center. If you really need a center, now, his jump shot is hard to time. So, if you can actually green his shots more consistently, pick him up if you really need a center. As a backup center. Use him as a, you know, pick up Paul Gasol and just have Joakim Noah as a backup center. Really good. Uh, Doug Minorbit, Mc, uh, McDermott, I'm saying that wrong ass don't pick him up <laughs> like he's really he's terrible he's really terrible evan turner good card jerry Culver, good card and you know these are what it is they, they good for probably limited or something like that so 
let's move on. So yeah, uh, overall, I think this is a good drop. You know what I mean? It's not a lot of budget guys you can get, but I mean Tyler and Joakim, great budget options. Even these cards, these 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 are like basically people who just started and need somebody that cheap, like extreme budget. Joakim Noah even could be an extreme budget in a way because he's like 2K. Like yeah, he is extreme budget. Even for people who just like Joakim Noah cards and they don't have the most MT, just get Joakim Noah. You know what I mean? It is what it is. But yeah. Uh, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. They actually had like a discounted. So let, let's get into that. that. This is where some of my MT went. Let, let's get to it. Oh, I mean 50 plus, it doesn't matter. Right here. Oh, you don't need to see that. Okay, Allen Houston right here. Allen Houston. You like, look, I can't even send it to my, oh, send it to my auction. I'm about to say, hold up. I ain't mean to do that, y'all. I'm sorry. I got another one. You might be asking, why? Because I grabbed, okay, let's go to it. I grabbed Donovan Mitchell. I grabbed Monte Ellis. Monte Ellis was like 17K. He actually got cheaper than that. But as you can see, his price is starting to rise again because he locks in, guess what, for 150 tokens. Now, it's nothing to do with these tokens, but my theory is they are going to, I mean, it's not even a theory. We already know we are going to see Dark Matter reward cards. It should have been this year, but you know how 2K is. They they loved, they, bruh, remember 2K19 and 2K20? We had great, especially 2K19 at the end. I didn't have enough tokens because I didn't really start playing 2K like that until like the end of 2K19, even 2K20. I didn't play that until like December. And that's when I really started making a lot of MT in 2K20. So, you know what I mean? It's, I don't, I don't get how we go. How do we regress? How do we not go forward? How, how do we not? How do a game company not imp try to improve something that was great already, that the community loved? C the community loved the token rewards. How do we get worse from that? It's like they're moving solely based on packs. And if they release the, the rewards they released in 2K19 and 20, I feel like they feel as though they're going to lose money. And I feel like that's not even the case. People are still going to spend money. Like, look at Troy. He's going to spend a thousand for a Kobe, bro. Like that's what that's what it is. People with ultra ultra money spent, bro. They'll spend a thousand dollars each week. And even then, if it's a favorite player, they'll spend a thousand dollars just to get him. And it's terrible. It, it's just that's why I'm no no money spent. I'm sorry, I can't speak right now, but I feel like I can't speak. But that's why I'm no money spent. I refuse. And I can't even say I refuse to buy VC because I do buy VC for my, my career. And it was a t like, I do buy VC for my, my career, but it is what it is. And uh, let's see, Monte Ellis. Yeah, that's that. I mean, I don't know how to get worse, but so they're going to release. So let's just get back to it. I keep getting off topic because this game got so many issues to it. It, it's I don't get how people could keep praising this game and it's like and it's the only basketball game like I love basketball I want to play with these cards I love collecting the cards it's no other basketball game that could compete with them so I mean that's another video another time so the 150 token lock in this is what I'm thinking that these cards are going to rise back up to over 50 I bought these cards for 18 I bought this Monte Ellis for 15 I bought this Allen Houston for like 18, he already rising. I bought this, I did buy this one for 29. His price is not really rising, but I feel like eventually it is, especially if they drop a Dark Matter for the token reward. Uh, I bought this for like 25, I wanna say. And I bought this Dalvin Mitchell for like 30. So there, you gotta wait, you gotta be patient. And I bought two Allen Houston's. So yeah, I wish I bought more, cause some of these are already rising. Because people realize they want to lock in for those 150 tokens and maybe. A lot of people are not. The reason why it's not going to go up this much right now. Because your only option is a. Really, come on. we Your only option is a Baron Davis outdated 
outdated as heck right now because he came out last season. And Marcus Gasol, who who can hold his own, don't get me wrong, but it's already outdated. His brother Paul is faster. He might not be as best of a defender as him, but I feel like he'd give you so much, and he only costs like 10 KMT. The when when I bought Paul, he was like 10 KMT, like 10 to 12, 15 KMT versus 750 tokens and it's like it's crazy because we have nothing to spend these tokens on now they did what they did last year and and just totally just do us dirty dirty and only put hall of fame badges in the token market i'm I'm just going to be upset because it's like what's the point of, of even locking in sets like the reason why i have not locked in no sets yet like i could have like it was a point where this this set right here would only cost me 50 kmt because even Bill Russell was like, I could have grabbed him for like 19. Julius Irvin was like literally like 15. He's still about under 20 maybe. And he's about 20. So this set still costs you like 70000 Like, Like, not even last year. Just, I'm not locking in those sets just to get done dirty. I did that last year hope, hoping that they do, they, they do something for the token market. But no, they did nothing. It released like a couple dark matters that was that was like Pete Maravich was the best one of his time, but most people couldn't get them because most people couldn't get them because you had to like unlock five Galaxy Opals. At least it's just one this year, which I'm happy. But it's like I don't know. It, it, it's 2K could do so much better. They really can. I haven't really been buying players either. I just been buying like some of these cheap players that come out within these sets. Like uh like I bought all these players. Danny Ferry. Don't get me wrong, I wanted Danny Ferry, but I'm not paying hundred K for a pink diamond. Now he's based the same card as last year as the Galaxy Opal, so eventually eventually I might want him. But for now, I'ma just hold off on it. I'ma just hold off on it, y'all. Um yeah, that's all I've been doing with my MT investing and of course investing in let me see where was that these diamond shoe boost. Cuz I've been getting these for like 3 like 5k and under. Now I feel like you can I can sell them for 12k legitimately right now. I know you see a 9k, but what people do is, right? They're not going to keep scrolling. Like after they get to a certain point they're going to stop scrolling. And you if you got like 20, 50, you know what I mean, of these people balls I'm telling you, a couple is going to get bought, and you just got to keep doing it, keep doing it, keep trying to sell them, keep trying to sell them, and eventually you are going to, you know, make profit. And also, dang, that's what I wanted to do. It's just going to have to be next episode. If not, uh, I wanted to, is it, oh man, that's what I forgot to do. I don't want to make this video over. I should, should not. Nah, we, we're going to keep it as this. And just next episode, I'm going to show you which badges. I mean, the badge I'm going to take is definitely for level... What, what's it? What is it? Level 39, I think I might take clamps. I might not because I don't know if cars are going to start getting Hall of Fame clamps. It might, a bowl bowl might come out that doesn't have it. But knowing 2K, they might give it to him just to, you know make his appeal even that much better so i don't know i don't know i know we probably get two choices and like they might give us a third choice with the beyond level 40 like the last step so they might give it to us like that but for now i might just take a uh, hyperdrive or the other one i forget the other one that's there or quick chain whatever whichever one is but I i'm definitely might I'm, I'm going to take clamps i'm going to take clamps let me stop let me stop capping. Uh, yeah. So let's redeem some of this MT. Some of the MT I've been... Okay, you see stuff so... I didn't think so. No, I've been trying to sell these curries for a little bit higher, but... I mean, a couple of them sold. See? I bought these for like 3K and under. Oh, man. That's because I'm not really putting this, all the speed of balls up. So that's what I'm going to do and see how much I can make. And I'll just add that in the next video. That didn't even sell. So I got all this MT to redeem. So let me just... Whoo! Almost quick sold it. I'd have been sick. 
Uh, I got no more space. So, oh yeah, so here you go. I sold this David Robertson for 99k like almost a week ago. I'm sorry, I've been kind of busy. I actually pulled this Dark Matter Kyrie. It actually got me because I actually, I, I spend, uh, where's it at? I bought a pack. Where's he at? Was he Kyrie? Yeah, I bought one pack and I pulled a Dark Matter. And I was like, oh shit, I pulled the, I pulled a Dark Matter, right? But guess what? <laughs> I forgot. There's only Galaxy Opals. I was asleep. I was dead, y'all. I was dead. I was mad. Cause then I realized it. After like it worn off a little bit and it came I came to the realization there's no dark matters in these packs. I pulled a goddamn Kyrie. I was so mad. I was so mad. But yeah. I also took an L. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna bring up to the L that I took, the biggest L that I took this year. Yeah, you'll see. I actually pulled S. Carl Anthony Towns with one of those packs. Sweet Ball sold 11k, so I made double the profit there. Uh, Will Chamberlain. So I'm gonna save him for last, just to tell y'all. I bought this Ellen Bager for around this price, so I didn't really, really lose much. I was doing challenges. I didn't lose much on him. I lost a little bit on him because I bought him for 36k, and I lost a lot on him because I bought him for 85. Oh no, 84k. So, yeah. But where the f all my MT go? I swear to God, where did all my MT go? Because I was almost at 6.7. I did lose a lot of MT, but... Let me just redeem this stuff. Sweep ball again. Contracts. I know I've been invest. Oh, yeah. So, I have been investing. And also, this Will Chamberlain. Let's, let's... Let me tell you why I took an L on him. So, Jerry West, too. At one point, I could have sold Jerry West for 200, 200 plus K, and I could have sold Wilt for over 200 plus. So, in my head, I didn't realize that Dolph Shays was coming out. El Elgin Baylor, Bob Pettit, and Bill. I don't even know who he is. But I didn't expect all of them to get a Galaxy Opal. And what that did was, Wilt was no longer going to be the gatekeeper or Jerry West. It was going to be one of these players. I didn't realize that. And before I could even sell my players, I already had to go to work. I was rushing out of, out of the house. I was rushing out the house to go to work. So, huh. that hurts because I could have had 500K, almost 500K extra. Instead, I sold Will for 70 and I only could get Jerry for like, I only could sell him for 10K. And at one point, I could sell Bill for 30. This whole, this whole thing was an L to me. It was an L. I picked all these cards up. I mean, the extra cards that came out that was pink diamonds. Because why not? Collect the level. So, I didn't wind up. I thought I was going to lock him in but until I saw Dolph uh, Price. And I said, hell no. So, I took an L on that. It is what it is. We we, It's a video game. You're going to take L's. Especially if you're trying to make MT, investing, and all that. So, you live and learn. So, I was at 6.7 or 6.8. It's just that I've been investing... With speed with ball shoes and also these uh token token rewards. So yeah, so this is my updated team. Now it's time to show y'all my updated team. This is my updated team. I bought Scotty for I bought this Scotty for I think 45k and I bought this for like 115. No, I bought it for like 117 with like plus so 117 minus five. That's what I got it for. 112. 112, 113. So, I picked him up because it was like, he got limitless. F it. I love doing weight cards. They're fun to use. And I'm using Yi right now as my backup center because I could use Robert. It's just, I got to use a center that can shoot. And he's not reliable. I'm so sorry. He's not reliable enough. Enough. I could use Wang, but he's a little too slow. I could use Joakim Noah, but his jump shot is a little hard for me to time. Or, yeah, this is the way I'm doing it. And I got these cards because I love Lance Stevenson and I love Jalen Green. So I'm going to use them off the bench. And RJ Barrett is pretty decent. I might actually replace RJ Barrett with. I want to use Jason Tatum, but he actually got a normal jump shot. So, I mean, for now, I'm keeping it like this. This is my team. Uh, I took L's. I ain't going to hold y'all. I took L's. 
Um, I should have John Morant by next episode, and I'm I'm gonna start grinding this out for the collector level. Uh, I mean, this All Star content was never that good, even when it came out. So I mean, and I should have the Disco Ball so I can get that Unicorn Ball. I know I've been kind of, as you can see, I've been slacking, y'all. I've been slacking. I've been really slacking out here. Cause look, the dynamic. I only did two games. I need to get to. 20 games so I can start doing those murals and uh, challenges. I haven't even been doing like, I would have been level 40, but I've been busy. I didn't realize me starting an internship was just, I don't know. It just felt so though I didn't want to really grind this game out no more. And that's what it made me feel like. And that's and I don't know how people with like full-time jobs actually actually feel i mean i had a full-time job one time but i wasn't play, i wasn't playing like 2k like that and it's other reasons but because i hurt my back and i actually was able to play this game and i've got that feeling of like literally having to work and try to play this game and try to grind it out i didn't realize how hard it is so for anybody out there with kids and grind this game also hats off for, to y'all hope, hope hopefully y'all create youtube channels and and even, even if you don't want to do YouTube, think about doing something. Because you grind this game, it's like, at least broadcast it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to do these videos. I'm trying to I'm trying to be as entertaining as possible. Like, a couple of my videos had good views. And somebody, shout out to the comment. Yeah, I, I really, that comment really stuck with me. To just keep going and just, just be my true self. Like, in that one video, I felt like I was just myself. Like, I really was. I, it felt... It felt good. And it felt good. Those comments. You're going to. Like. Him just saying. I'm going to grow. Shout out to you. Like. It, that that really means a lot to me. You know. That that really means a, a lot to me. Really do. Thank you for that. But that's it for me y'all. Uh, that's what I've been doing. Or. What I've not been doing. Because I feel like I haven't been playing this game a lot. Because I. Look. I just got the 21 wins of clutch time last year last season two seasons i was already at 101 so that's it for me y'all we went over a lot of things i lost you know a lot of mt i'm gonna build my mt i'm on the road to 10 mil hopefully i get to know by the end i actually want to have 10 mil i really do but that's it for me y'all thank y'all for coming out thank you for you know tuning in anybody that stayed to the end even if you skipped around even if you just came and gave me a view and anybody that liked the video, if you like this video, you like these this type of content, like the video, subscribe, hit that noti no bell, and so, you know comment if you want. Always make my day. Uh, thank y'all. Have a blessed one. Peace out.